The best FPL captain for game week 15 is Salah. But who else can compete with the Egyptian king for this game week 15? Here are my top three captaincy picks. In number one, we've got Salah, as I mentioned. Scouts rate my team has him at 7.9 expected points and FPL review has him at 6.3 expected points. Both of them have him at first as the best captaincy option for game week 15. He's playing a Sheffield United team who in the last six game weeks have been the 17th for XG conceded, 18th for XG conceded non-pen and 18th for big chances conceded as well. This should put Salah as a good captaincy option They've just fired their manager as well, being the first manager to be fired uh, from Sheffield United as the first manager in the Premier League. Will that make a difference? New manager bounds, I don't think they're going to get a manager in time, but will that make a difference? I don't think so. I think Sheffield are pretty bad and I think Salah is probably the best option for captaincy this week. But who else can compete? Let's go into my second pick, Saka, who plays a Luton team um, that are just bad. Scouts rate my team has Saka as the fourth best option at 5.58 and FPL review has him as the third best option at 5.6 um, but I've, I've added him second and that's mainly because Luton are just really bad and Saka is just slowly ticking over ticking over with points Arsenal's XG numbers are slowly improving as well we should add that as well Odegaard and Saka are back combining working together Gabriel Jesus is also in the team I think this could be a good fixture for Arsenal and we've seen that Arteta doesn't tend to rotate um, Saka that much so I don't think we need to worry too much with regards to that but definitely one to kind of keep an eye out for if you want to captain a differential captain apart from Salah or if you don't own Salah as well. And finally, third, I've gone for Hume Ming Sun. Scouts rate my team has him at 6.32 expected points, which is third in their list. And FPL review has him at 5.6, which is fourth in their list. Uh, West Ham, uh, their last six game weeks defensive uh, stats are actually considered ninth, actually considered non pen seventh, and big chances considered tenth. So they're kind of a mid table team, but Spurs are just really attacking that I think Sun is about to explode as well in the next couple game weeks as well. So if you're looking to get Sun in, if you still have him and you want a differential captain, this guy is your man. The, per the player who's second on both FPL Review and uh, Skulls Rape My Team is Harlan in terms of expected points, but I haven't added him into this list because for one, we don't know if he's going to get banned or not. Uh, two, they've lost to Rodri, which is a big loss. Doku is potentially out, which is probably good for Harlan, but we don't know whether Harlan will even be playing. That's another problem. Grealish is out as well. That's another problem for City. Um, and Aston Villa just a monster at home. Um, so for all of those reasons, I haven't added Harlan in this. But he is obviously on both Scout and FPL Review. That's second in terms of expected points. But that's my top three captaincy picks for Game Week 15. Let me know who you are going to captain. And make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. And stay tuned for the Game Week 15 podcast, which we will have later today and Tuesday at 9 p.m. Sydney time, uh, 3.30 p.m. IST, and 10 a.m. GMT. And make sure to check out the 5 Things We Learned video as well, where I talk about the 3.9 million goalkeepers, whether you go for Dubravka or whether you go for Kelleher, and whether if Haaland does get banned at the time of whether this he's been banned. I don't know whether he's banned by the time the video comes out. But if it does happen, I've kind of mentioned who we could probably look to get as well. Um, so thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.